Only on two at six in the dark on a holiday. A planned power outage will leave many people without power ahead of the Easter holiday. Centerpoint Energy is cutting off the lights to a Tomball neighborhood on Good Friday when many people are off work and a lot of children are off school. Yeah, the company says they had to schedule it this way because school was out. That outage will impact residents living near Cypress, Rose Hill and Jurgen Road. KPRC 2's Rowan Belogan is in that neighborhood tonight in Rowan. What are residents they're saying? Now, Christine, Daniela, several tell us it's frustrating. A spokesperson for Centerpoint say it's necessary to begin traffic stop work here at this intersection. And look, you can already see the light poles in place for that work on both sides of the road. The timing causing issues for those with Good Friday plans. We're going to have to go somewhere else. Richard Hudson and his wife typically host the entire family at their Northwest Harris County home for holidays. Good Friday is no different until he found out power to things like this. AC units will be out. We'd have four grandkids over here. My brother, uh, my sister-in-law, my mother-in-law, who's 95, and she's you know, she's not going to enjoy the heat. Hudson got this center point letter this week, notifying him of a scheduled power outage Friday. Well, I can't believe they're doing this on Good Friday. You know, I mean, you know, who thought it was a good idea? Center point saying the outage will impact 140 customers for up to eight hours. The company said in a statement it tries to, quote, avoid nights and weekends as more customers are home during those hours, adding they coordinated with Tomball ISD. Quotes, our planning team determined that conducting the work on Friday would be less disruptive, including for students at the affected campuses. We're not going to have any lights, so there's really no purpose in us being here. In the letter to homeowners, Centerpoint notes if they're delayed by weather, it has an alternative day, Saturday, April 23rd. That's still a Saturday. That's still overtime. So why not just postpone it till that day? And a seven point spokesperson said they work on Good Friday isn't some cost saving measure at noting that they will have to pay overtime for their union employees. You can read their full statement on our website at clicktohouston.com. Live in Northwest Harris County, Robon Belogan, KPRC 2 News.